In RECOM, you and your wider global network of researchers compile and assess the best evidence on the impact of foreign aid. Here we take a closer look at how aid works to address fragility, democracy and overall good governance. Fragile states, which have low state capacity and often high levels of poverty, are home to one third of the world's poor. They are often vulnerable to harsh political instability, as seen for instance in Mali, when a military coup in 2012 reversed two decades of multi-party rule. However, the overall picture is more positive. Since the early 1990s, a large number of countries have transitioned successfully from conflict to peace. Foreign aid has supported negotiations for peace, reconciliation commissions and the reintegration of combatants back into society. Both in fragile states and in more stable countries, aid has helped to fund multi-party elections, public education efforts and anti-corruption initiatives. In Africa, such support has coincided with an increased number of multi-party democracies. Aid for political governance and peace building has grown from around 1 billion US dollars in 1990 to almost 15 billion dollars in 2011. But donor support alone is just not enough for building stronger, more accountable states. Citizens and public officials need to work together to build the foundations of good governance. The most promising interventions are those where donors support homegrown initiatives and provide long-term sustained assistance. UN wider researchers from all over the world have come together to find out what works, what could work, what is scalable and what is transferable in foreign aid. To learn more, come visit our website at recom.wider.unu.edu.